mai fati pu ki te raki. Ki a fitu ki te tonga. Te maalu ka hotu rua te taonga. He wā hi re re hua, mo te kano he kite kite. He kāi ngā noho. He wā hi tuare. He wā hi ri poinga. He uko kai. This is a fascinating harbour with a lot of beauty and it's changing all the time. It's just a vast space and it's just so big and yes, I do love it. It's actually about our people and our community and for their children and for the future. In a world that's having its troubles, these are really beautiful spots in our environment. This harbour matters for the same reasons that ocean environments and harbours matter all over the world. It's part of life on the earth and it's part of our lived experience. The general public in Auckland would not know the problems that we have in the Manukau Harbour. The Manukau Harbour is not a cesspit that you just pour rubbish into. The Manukau Harbour shouldn't be just treated as a second class citizen compared to the wider matter. The truth needs to be told that we should all be worried about this harbour. When I was going to school at Otunhu College, and we used to get the bus from Green Lane at going past what we used to call Lavender Flats. And it was the stinking mess of the Mangari Inlet because there were two freezing works discharged stuff onto there. And sometimes when the tide was out, it was red. The worst contamination from there is from zinc and chrome. Now that's from factories, that's from industries. It's not all from farming that's going pouring into the Manukau. When I grew up here, there was very few uh, mangroves in this inlet. My mum and her sisters used to gather food from the harbour, catching fish and bringing fish home, um, shellfish. It was common to have that type of food every week. The things we took for granted when we were young are no longer available in this harbour anyways. The biggest threat to the harbour without a doubt is human activity. Cleaning up the harbour really matters. We need to take care of the harbour. The Manukau Harbour is vital for our community to connect. Kia ora, I'm Saffron Toms, I'm Chair of the Manukau Harbour Forum. It's given the opportunity for all of the nine local boards that surround the harbour to get together and have a really good korero about the important issues for the harbour and become a combined voice for advocacy for the well-being of the harbour. It's not only just money, it's, it's people's attitudes. The key thing for me is that the old parts of the suburb, the stormwater just goes straight out into the harbour, no filtering whatsoever. Whereas the new standards that are set in the unitary plan makes the water has to go into a detention sort of system before it's actually released. And you know, it's not perfect, but at least it's actually doing some sort of filtering now of that urban water. It's just all about everybody making an effort. Children form a relationship with nature and that's really hard when they're actually forming a relationship with these screens. This is going to be a forest in 50 years time. I brought my kids down here just so that they could come back here and say they planted this with their dad. Let's get generations of people understanding what's going on in this harbour. People do swim in the harbour but then they see the sign which says you can't swim here but we're getting closer to sort of saying yes you can. The Manukau Harbour is a tanga, it's a treasure which we must all look after. Aotearoa New Zealand is an island nation. This is my moana.
and that's why it's special to me.